gastroesophageal reflux disease GERD is a chronic condition characterized by the reflux of stomach contents, particularly gastric acid, into the esophagus, leading to various symptoms and complications. Gastroesophageal reflux disease is typically a medically technical and complex digestive problem, and it is important to understand the mechanism and cause to properly cure it. The mechanism of GERD involves the malfunctioning of the lower esophageal sphincter less, changes in intra-abdominal pressure, and factors that affect the clearance of acid from the esophagus. The less is a ring of muscle, located at the junction of the esophagus and the stomach. Its primary function is to act as a valve, preventing the backflow of stomach contents into the esophagus. In individuals with GERD, the LES fails to function properly. It may relax abnormally or weaken, allowing stomach acid and other contents to flow back into the esophagus. This relaxation of the less can be transient or chronic, leading to frequent episodes of acid reflux. A hiatal hernia occurs when a portion of the stomach pushes through the diaphragm creating an opening hiatus that allows the stomach to move into the chest cavity. Hiatal hernias can disrupt the normal anatomical position of the LES. When part of the stomach is above the diaphragm, the pressure on the less may be altered, making it easier for stomach acid to reflux into the esophagus. Excess body weight, especially around the abdomen, Increases intra-abdominal pressure, this pressure can for stomach contents, including acid, upward into the esophagus. The growing uterus during pregnancy can exert pressure on the stomach, leading to GERD symptoms. Additionally, hormonal changes can relax the less, further promoting reflux. This condition involves delayed emptying of the stomach often due to nerve damage, when the stomach takes longer to empty. There is a prolonged period during which acid can reflux into the esophagus, increasing the likelihood of GED. Normally, coordinated contractions, peristalsis of the esophageal muscles help propel food and stomach acid downward, away from the esophagus. Saliva contains bicarbonate, which neutralizes acid. Reduced saliva production or swallowing frequency can impair this natural defense mechanism against acid reflux. Certain foods and beverages, such as citrus fruits, tomatoes, chocolate, caffeine, alcohol, spicy foods, and fatty meals, can relax the less or directly irritate the esophagus, triggering reflux. Tobacco smoke contains chemicals that can weaken the LES, making individuals who smoke more susceptible to GERD. A burning sensation in the chest, often after eating, that may worsen when lying down or bending over. Sour tasting acid backing up into the throat or mouth. A feeling of food being stuck in the throat. Persistent coughing. Often worse at night, changes in the voice often a result of irritation caused by stomach acid, chest pain that may mimic the symptoms of a heart attack. Managing GERD involves a combination of lifestyle changes, medications, and in some cases, surgery. Here are some common treatment approaches. Avoid trigger foods and opt for a GE, a D-friendly diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. Losing excess weight can significantly reduce GERD symptoms. Sleeping with the upper body elevated can help prevent stomach acid from flowing back into the esophagus, eating smaller. More frequent meals can prevent excessive pressure on the stomach. Quitting smoking can improve less function and overall health. Over-the-counter antacids can provide temporary relief by neutralizing stomach acid, histamine to receptor blockers, and proton pump inhibitors are potent acid reducers and are often prescribed for severe GERD cases.
In this surgical procedure, the top of the stomach is wrapped around the less, reinforcing the valve and preventing acid reflux. A small ring of magnetic beads is implanted around the less, strengthening it and preventing reflux.